the men and workers who made Teflon were coming down with nausea, fevers. DuPont wanted to know why. So they laced cigarettes with Teflon. They told a group of the workers, hey, smoke these. DuPonters did as they were told. Almost all those men were hospitalized. That's 1962, one year after Teflon launched, and already DuPont knew. The dust, they just sent right up the smokestacks, released into the air. The sludge, tossed it into the Ohio, or uh, packed it into drums and, and, and chucked it into the Chesapeake. But then the drums started washing up. So DuPont starts digging ditches on the grounds of the Washington Works plant, and in those pits, they dumped thousands of tons of toxic C8 sludge and dust. One of the men that they hired to dig those ditches was Wilbur Tennant's brother, Jim. But they weren't the only ones covering their tracks. 3M, who, who pioneered these chemicals for Scotchgard, they were testing them on monkeys. Most of the monkeys died. It wasn't like DuPont didn't know that because they were doing their own tests on rats. Watch their organs balloon. Now the rats are getting cancers. Tested them on pregnant rats and watched them give birth to pups with deformed eyes. So they yanked all the young women off the Teflon line and never told them why. Sue Bailey's job was scrubbing these huge steel vats where they held the liquid C8. She was pregnant. I love you. <laughs> you stop. She gave birth to a baby with one nostril and a deformed eye. You remember how DuPont had seen those deformities in her rats? What about his eyes? Blue, just like all new But the normal, the lids, the, the pupils? Mr. Balot, relax. <laughs> He's perfect. <laughs> Hi, Charlie. So Sue goes to DuPont. She says, why did you pull me off the Teflon line? Did C8 make my baby this way? No, they tell her. Then all of her records from her time at Teflon disappear. One year later, they put all of the women back on Teflon and never say a thing. He's here. DuPont knew everything. They knew that the C8 they put into the air and buried into the ground for decades was causing cancers. They knew that their own workers were getting these cancers. They knew that the consumers too were being exposed and not just in Teflon, in, in paints, in fabrics, in uh, raincoats, boots. To this day, 